Good morning guys. I wanted to show you a quick video um, on how the GPS works with these. It's not, as a lot of people understand, it's not a live real-time GPS when you're tracking these. Um, it's more of a situational GPS. And what I mean by that is, so you get real-time GPS on your device, right? As you're walking around, you know, you've got your GPS lock. That's real-time. However, when you send a location request from one radio to another, it will send the request. This one's going to look at its current GPS, and it's going to send it back as a static, here I am. Now, this first radio only gets that initial response with its coordinates. Now, if this radio goes and moves out of the way, this one still only knows about the original location. It does not know about it moving. So when you're tracking radios, one thing that you have to understand or keep in mind is the tracked person, you either need to stay like stay in a single location or you need to keep checking periodically to see if they moved. Now, all the checks are manual. Um, as far as what we're going to go for today, I know there are some automatics you can do with the app. All of this that I'm doing today is without the app. It's just the radios. So radio two hypothetically is going to be lost. We're going to put him over to the side and we want to find radio two, right? So what are the steps that we have to take to find radio two? And you can see each one of them has a tag. So we've got OGT one, OGT two. So radio two is out and about. Radio one is here in our hand with us. One of the key things that you got to keep in mind is both of the radios have to be on the same channel. You can't have radio one on channel 17, radio two on channel 16, it just won't work. Also, the location tracker only works when it comes to uh, simplex channels. You cannot do this on repeater channels. So as of right now, you cannot send any location information or location requests or repeater channels um, due to the specifications of GMRS. However, it can do simplex radio to radio. So for the demo, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to our menu. We're going to go down to signaling. Let's see if I can get a better view here for you. Let's turn this light off. There we go. So we're going to go to signaling. We're going to go and check nearby people. Now I'm going to bring this other radio into view here for you because what I want you to see is when we check nearby people, you're going to see the red light is going to come up on the top here. Give it a second, give it a second. There it goes. So the red light just came on. That means radio two just transmitted to radio one its current GPS location and tag. So now if we go back here to radio one, we go back to the main menu and we click the red button here, we're gonna see we have OGT2 now. Now it's gonna be a little off because we're right next to each other, but you can see it's fairly to the right. It's about six feet roughly. Um, again, GPS is, it's not to the point. Um, now you can see it just updated again. Now it's nine feet. So you can see the radios will send out transmissions, but it's gonna be all featured on where this reception came. So, all right guys, so we're back up on the desk here. So a couple things to keep in mind. Like I said, um, there is auto beacons. Um, it's better to use these with the phone. The phone will give you a better GPS lock. If you're using GPS on your phone, it'll send it to the radio. You'll notice you'll get a fast lock when you're on the phones. If you're not using a phone, um, GPS is still feasible. Um, right here is the GPS antenna. So some people think that this is the GPS antenna, guys. This is just the radio antenna, okay? This is not the GPS antenna. The GPS antenna is hidden underneath here. This is what needs to have line of sight of the sky to be able to make sure that you're getting a GPS lock. Um, also, uh, another thing to keep in mind is, you know, th this GPS technology is great. Um, it's not 100% accurate. It's going to get you in the local area, which is what we demonstrated in the video. Um, so if someone's lost or if you're trying to find someone, you're trying to meet up with some team members of yours, as long as you guys are on the same channel, you're within view of each other as far as the radio frequencies, line of sight, um, you can be able to track these and use these as a great team radio. Um, great hiking radios. That's what I use these for. These are my off-grid and my hiking radios. I mean IP67. They're USB-C chargeable. You can't go wrong with the BTEC GMRS Pro guys. So um, 
again, this is part two in the operator series. Uh, you know, if you guys like these, give me a thumbs up, like, follow, subscribe. Let me know, you know, if this is the kind of stuff you guys like. Um, you know, we have all, a lot of different type of content on the channel, but, you know, I like bringing this stuff to you guys. Um, and then also don't forget about the giveaway. We are at the 1000 giveaway. It will end on Thursday um, at noon, or excuse me, Friday at noon. Um, so at Friday noon, we're cutting it off, guys. So if you want to be included, make sure you visit our Instagram, our YouTube, subscribe, follow the steps, and you get a, either entered to win a free radio or an SDR dongle. Thank you, guys, 73. Have a great afternoon.